Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video on PS4 Linux. In this video, I'm going to continue the tutorial showing you how you could build your PS4 Linux distro from scratch. In the last video, I showed you guys how you could set up the virtual machine and install the distro you want to run on your PS4 on the virtual machine. We're going to continue from there. In this step, I'm going to show you two things. First, I'm going to show you how to install and uninstall the programs that are already installed on your distro. And then we're going to see how you could update the system. All right. So first of all, I'm going to start my virtual machine, which we had created in the first step. If you haven't already watched that video, I suggest you watch that video right now. The link is in the description. This is because there are specific instructions to be followed when installing a distro onto the virtual machine, such that running the same distro on PS4 becomes easier. So assuming that you have followed those instructions and installed the distro onto the virtual machine, here we call it PS4 Linux. Let's just start it. And then I'm going to press enter here. I'm going to log in. And here we are. Now working on this small window might not be convenient for many of you guys. So all you have to do right here is press on control and F together. So this will go into full screen as you can see. The whole Fedora distro that we had running on virtual machine is now running full screen on my PC as if it is my primary OS. So this is more suitable for us. So let us begin with the agenda for this tutorial. All right. So if you go to the menu and see that accessories have some applications, for example, calculator and then clip it. While these applications might be necessary for some people, most of us who plan on gaming on these distros might not require it. So suppose you want to remove clip it and calculator. Let us see how you can do that on Fedora. To do so, all you have to do is click on the terminal and then type sudo space dnf space remove and then the name of the applications you want to remove. In our case, that is clip it and calculator. You have to separate these applications with a space. If you want to remove just clip it, all you have to do is just type clip it. But if you want multiple applications to be removed, just separate them with a space and then press enter. Now we are running sudo command for the first time in this session. So it is going to ask for the password. So let us just provide it, which in my case is PS4 and then press enter. It will ask if you want to continue, just press Y and press enter. So this has been removed. As you can see in the accessories, we had clip it and uh, calculator earlier. Now they're gone. So this shows you how you can remove the unnecessary packages. Now that you know how you could remove the unnecessary applications, it's now time to learn how you could install the necessary applications. But the first things you're going to notice here is that we are lacking a web browser. So let us install that first. Okay. My choice of web browser is Firefox. So I'm going to open the terminal right here and then type sudo space DNF space install space Firefox. All right. And then I'm going to enter my password and it's going to start it. It's going to ask again for information why and enter. So this process will take some time. As you can see, it says complete. And I'm now going to go to the menu. And here you see a new option has been added that is internet and that has Firefox in it. So I'm going to start up Firefox. And here we have Firefox installed. So this was a simple application, but we plan to game on the system when we install it on PS4, right? So we're going to need some gaming applications. A very good example of a gaming application is Steam, obviously. So let us see how you could install Steam on this Fedora distro. Okay. For this, I have a very neat detailed article right on my blog that you could just visit. You could just copy those terminal commands and get them to your terminal. Just paste them on your terminal and uh, there you are, you're ready to go. Let me show you an example, which in this case is Steam. So right here on your screens, you have the article I was talking about on my blog. So we're going to try to install Steam, right? So I'm going to scroll down. We are here, we have the table of contents and here Steam is. And this is Fedora. So I'm going to click on this install Steam on Fedora for PS4. And here we have the detailed instructions. So let us follow them. We already have the terminal open. So I'm going to copy the first command. That is this. Copy. Go to my terminal. Right click here. Paste. And then press enter. So what this step does is this adds a repository. That is RPM Fusion repository to our installation. So that Steam can be installed. Okay. Now the repository has been added successfully. All you have to do now is install with this command. Just copy it from there. Paste it onto the terminal. Press enter. It's going to ask for confirmation in a bit. 
wait for it here we are just press y and press enter and this process is going to take some time because uh, as you can see the install size is almost 439 mb now again at this step this is going to ask for confirmation all you have to do is press y and enter Yep, here we have completed the installation of Steam. Let us see if it has appeared in the menu. I'm going to click here and there's a new menu that has opened up, Games, and, and as a sub-menu, we have Steam. I'm going to click on Steam and see if it opens up properly. It is going to update for the first time. And there we have the login window. All you have to do is log into your existing account or create a new account and get started with Steam. So we are ready to game on a distro, right? No, that's not the case. We still have to do a very important step before even trying to install it on the PS4 so that we can game properly. What is that? Simple, it's driver installation. We'll be talking about the same and I'll be showing you step by step how you could install the drivers for PS4 on your Linux distro in my next video. So make sure you watch that, all right? By now, I've showed you two important things to do on your Linux distro. First was removing the unnecessary applications and the second was installing the necessary applications. Now we come to the third step of the video, that is updating the system, okay? This is very simple. All you have to do is start up the terminal, type sudo space dnf space update, press enter, and then provide your password and then press enter. Now, as you can see, this says nothing to do complete. This is because I was using a net installer for uh, installing Fedora onto this virtual machine. So what it does is it gets the latest updates already during the installation. So you won't need to update your system after the installation, but that's not the case if you were using an offline installer. If you were using an offline installer, I would suggest you update right now. I'm saying this because the steps for updating are different on a virtual machine and different on a PS4. It will save you a lot of trouble if you do it right now. So that's why I'm suggesting just do the update right now, okay? Now, as a last step, what you can do is clean all the unnecessary junk or, you know, like uh, extra applications that have been floating around your system. To do that, all you have to do is type sudo space dnf space clean space all and then press enter. As you can see, 62 files were removed. These are files that you won't be needing anymore. Right now, this distro is ready for installation of the drivers and the last step that is backing up the whole system so that this can be installed onto the PS4. I'm going to stop this video right here and I suggest you watch the rest of the videos. Only two videos remain in this series. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install the graphic drivers of, for PS4 on your Linux distro. Okay. Before we conclude this video, I would also like to tell you that all the commands that we ran in this video are specific to Fedora. For the commands for Ubuntu and other distros, you can always check out my article in which I have detailed these commands very specifically and also made them beginner friendly. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Do check it out. All right. And if you feel like you need a tutorial for Ubuntu, that is a separate tutorial for Ubuntu, you can leave a comment below. And when I'm free, I'll do that too. With that, I request you all to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. If you like the video, leave your comments. Leave your suggestions, feedback, everything. And do let me know if you face any troubles during the installation or any of these steps. I would help my best. Till I see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.